Okay, so now we're going to go through and start installing this free PBX. The old version I found to be a little bit more stable. And let's see what we're going to do. We're going to start a droplet with just a, a fresh install of Debian. Uh, okay, Debian 10 in this case. And we can use the minimum installation password file out. We'll name the uh, droplet first. There's the name. There we go. We won't need any to change any DNS information because we're just going to use the IP address to log into the server when we get it spun up and configured. Now that we have the IP address, we're going to use that to log into the server. So we're going to use an SSH space root at the IP. Type yes to accept the fingerprint and then copy the password. Now that we're logged in, we can run some commands. So what we're going to do is just copy some of these commands to make it easier. But in the case where the commands are a little bit shorter, we'll just type them in. And as we go, you can follow along just by typing the commands and I uh, will post the commands in a file or a Google document so you can grab the file and copy it for yourself to keep. So nobody has to type in all these. Uh, these commands are quite long. Well, let's go up. Let's just, um, what are we doing there? Scripts install. Oops. All right, what's next? We're going to configure and then jump into a menu, flag some things for being to be installed, and then we'll just continue. The telephone code is especially... Uh, you know, dependent on where you're located. In my case, I'm in the US, so I'm just going to type in the one and continue with the installation or with the configuration. Okay, now that that part is done, let's go into a configuration by typing in the following command, configure, and then we'll go into that menu that I was talking about. Okay, now we're on to the next, into the menu itself. All right, so what are we doing? We're going to be looking for... Okay, so we wanted to go into the um, add-on section. And we're going to select the Chen O323 and the format MP3. I'm going to go back. Use the arrow keys, by the way, to navigate through this. Then we're going to go down to the core sound packages. And we want to select all the ones on the top, which is um, the Wave U La A La Leave GSM. And then we're going to Music on Hold packages and do the same thing U La A La GSM. And what else do we have? What else do we have? Extra packages. Same thing Wave U La A La GSM. And then there's applications at the very top. And this one, we have to scroll all the way down and get the app macro, which is, I think, in the uh, deprecated section. There it is. And select it. It's usually space bar in most of these types of menus. But in this case, it's uh, enter if you didn't figure that out. So it's enter, highlight the option to select, and then hit enter to toggle it on or off. Then we want to go to use the um, right arrow key to go to save and exit, and then save and exit. And then we're going to continue with building out this with make. And then we're going to make install. All right, so if this type of installation, you know, this script took a long time and it's telling you what the next command should be, but if you forgot what the command is, then you can hit the up arrow and remind yourself what the last command you typed was, and then just type the next one in line. All right, the next command. Now that I run all the commands to make the system, now we have to create a user to run asterisk. So the asterisk will run as a user, not as the root account. Okay, let's just try copying this because I don't know what I'm missing and don't want to spend any time on it either. So all these commands are basically doing is giving permission to this new user, to these different directories. Okay, now we need to edit our configuration file here. Let's go into Vim, which is my particular editor of choice. Use the arrow keys to jump down or drop down to the lines we need to change, which is the... Actually, let's do a search. We can type in the... There it is. So we do a search with the slash, which is the one that shares the question mark. And then we're going to YY to copy, P to paste, and I'm going to remove this comment. And I'm going to escape to go back to the um, view mode, YY, P, and then go uh, to um, click I or press I to go back to insert mode and remove the comment, which is the hash or pound sign. And then we escape. I hold shift and ZZ to save and exit. Some people type colon WQ exclamation point and enter. I like doing it a little bit faster with the um, shift to ZZ. And the next one is going to be another configuration file. I'm going to use the arrow keys down here. Let's just do a search. Let's run. And we use this again, search 
in the view mode, just type in, uh, type the slash, and then type in the string of characters you want to search for. In my case, I just wanted to search for run, and I'm going to hit I to go into insert mode or edit mode, and then take away the two comment symbols, which is just the semicolon in this case. Click escape when you're done, hold shift, type ZZ as you hold shift to go out or save the file and exit. And what else are we doing now? Now we're gonna restart asterisk with the system control command. And now we're gonna enable it to run when the system starts. All right, and then we're going to run one of the last commands to make sure we can connect to the asterisk um, command line or this asterisk server on the command line. And so you can see it's running because now I have a new a new command prompt, which is the host name or the, yeah, the host name, which is dev10. And then it's the CLI for asterisk. And if we want to, uh, it shows that the processor ID is the 8564 and then we can exit just by typing exit and hit enter and we're back to the system prompt. Now we're going to update the system again and then we're going to install Maria db or maria database which is the new sql or the new word it's not that new anymore uh, db and also maria client db client and when that's finished we're ready to install the free pbx which is basically the gui the web gui for um asterisk so we'll do that in part two